I'm really stepping up my game. These people better start liking my videos for this. Can't get no more free rent. What, what, what? Hey, what's going on, everybody of YouTube? Ken Any Daily here with a two-tone t-shirt tutorial. And if you guys are like wondering, like, what the heck is a two-tone t-shirt? Uh, here is an example of the one I did. It has like a little, little fabric at the bottom here, and it kind of blends in with the t-shirt. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today. Um, if you guys are wondering what it looks like on a person, stay tuned to the end. That's why I show you guys what it looks like on me. I'm rocking it in the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Here's an overview of all the things you're going to need for this tutorial. Starting off, you're going to need some pins, just your average pins, a plain black t-shirt or any t-shirt you want, some fabric, a pair of scissors and a straight edge ruler and that's all the things you're gonna need for this tutorial to start off the tutorial we're gonna take our t-shirt make sure it's not inside out or whatever and lay it on a nice flat surface and make sure that everything is nice and symmetrical on both sides of the t-shirt because we're gonna be cutting a couple inches off the bottom of it and if you guys are wondering on the length and width, like the measurements, it depends on your size because I'm about 5'3 and I know you guys all are not 5'3. So you got to play around with what works and what doesn't. So after you figure out what works with you, you want to line your ruler up or whatever you're using as a straight edge and just cut off the inches off the bottom of the t-shirt. So for the next step, we're going to be cutting out the fabric for the bottom part of the t-shirt. And you want to start off by laying your fabric flat and folded like that. So you're cutting two layers instead of one. And you want to take the part of the bottom of the t-shirt that you just cut and you want to lay it flat on top of the fabric. This is going to be your guidance on where to cut. Now, once you got all that squared away, you want to start cutting the fabric. Make sure to give yourself some excess room at the back of the fabric like this. Give it some excess room. So this is just going to give you some more room to work with when you're pinning or sewing the fabric onto the bottom of the t-shirt. After you cut all of the fabric, you want to go grab your t-shirt. This t-shirt is not inside out for all you people who think it's inside out. Because I'm probably going to get one of those comments where like, is the t-shirt inside out or not? But basically what we're doing here is we're lining up at the edge. Make sure it's lined up with the edge of the t-shirt. And then you want to start pinning the bottom of the fabric like so. Like notice that the fabric is inside out on the right side of the t-shirt. Now that's confusing so let me restate that. So the t-shirt is right side up but the fabric is face down onto the t-shirt and we're just pinning the bottom of the fabric onto the bottom of the t-shirt. I don't think I can get any clearer than that, but if you guys need a better explanation, let me know in the comments section below. But basically, you want to start pinning. No, make sure to also pull on the t-shirt while you're pinning because you don't want it to scrunch up on the bottom of the t-shirt. So pull and make sure that the fabric is nice and aligned with the t-shirt and there's no ruffling no scuffling and all that nasty stuff you know you know but once you reach the end you're gonna have some excess fabric make sure to put one the fabric that you started with on the bottom and then the end on the top and then you want to pin it at the end there and then that's all the pinning that you're gonna need to do Next thing you want to do is throw it into your sewing machine and just do your straight stitch, start with the back stitch, end with the back stitch procedure. And you want to go around the t-shirt twice. So you want to go all the way around once and you want to go all the way around twice. And then once you finish your second time around, end with the back stitch and then pull it out of the machine. Now you want to check if there's any holes and the way that you do that is you want to put the fabric right side up aligned with the right side of the t-shirt and just pull on it. If you experience any holes, just go back and restitch those areas. Now after you're done with that, you want to go back and close up the part of the fabric that had excess fabric. And you want to just line those ones up. If you can't line them up, then just cut off just the right amount. And after you cut off the right amount, you want to just straight stitch them together. 
which I do here very carefully. I actually hit the camera, you guys saw that. No one saw that. But just do your straight stitch down the line. And it made it easier to pin it, but it's totally not necessary to do. But just straight stitch down the line, start and end with the back stitch, and you're all set with that part. The next thing you want to do is you want to even out the bottom of the t-shirt and the way you do that is you pull on the sides while you fold. This is going to make it so the t-shirt will align on the top and the bottom of the shirt. So boom like that and as you can see it evens out. You can iron down the folded area or you can pin it down but I don't do that because I've, I've done it so much I've learned how to do it without it but anyways after you do that you want to take it to your sewing machine and you just want to do a straight stitch all the way around actually twice and then after you finish stitching you want to take off all the excess fabric so it doesn't show when you wear the t-shirt so just make sure to cut off all the excess fabric and don't accidentally cut the actual thread because that's really bad after you cut off all the excess fabric, throw it on, take some pictures with it, make one for your grandma, do whatever you want to do. But that's the tutorial guys, hope you guys like, subscribe, and all the good stuff that you guys do. I really appreciate all your support, and I love the comments that you guys are giving me. But anyways, oh, uh, and uh, I think a lot of people are going to ask what type of pants I'm wearing. It's a Drake Cuz from Cotton On. But anyways guys, hope you guys like the video. This is Ken and you daily and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.